I want to show you this interaction with the spokesperson for the State Department. This is the the journalist asking the question is Saeed Arakat. And I it, it, there's so many parts of this that I just want to tear apart their garbage, the propaganda, how they try and dodge the fact that they are party to, the U.S. is party to a genocide right now. Um, and I, I'm so, I am excited that so many Americans now understand this. But anyway, let's let's play some of this, see what he's saying. Oh, well, you know, situation. I can play it with some volume, actually. Oh, actually, you guys probably heard it. I couldn't hear it. And problem of this entire situation, which is that Hamas has embedded itself inside civilians, inside civilian homes, inside mosques, in schools, in churches. It is Hamas that is putting these civilians in harm's way. I so I I and and a few others have uh, furiously and often debunked the whole human shields insanity it's it's racist it's wrong it's propaganda but you notice that so hamas is the government right of gaza therefore anything connected to the government of gaza is technically hamas so therefore israel can say anything near a government building is hamas and therefore they you know argue they can just bomb everyone as they've said publicly no one in gaza is innocent which of course is a, a the, the statement of a genocidal maniac that is an open full frontal statement of genocide to say no one is innocent but uh the other thing i want to highlight here is he goes is he goes, well, it's Hamas's fault that so many civilians are dying, right? Because um, they have embedded themselves in the civilian population. Well, that's interesting that he puts it that way, because let me ask you this. Of the population of Israel, how many of them are uh, part of the military? Oh, oh, all of them. Almost every goddamn Israeli has been in the military because it's mandatory to serve in the military. So, yeah, there, there are a few who have not, like uh, Hasids, uh, Orthodox uh, Jews um, do not uh, serve in the military. But a large, large percentage of everyone in Israel is military or a military family. So if we went by this definition, by the definition that is put forward by Israel, put forward by the United States right here, if we went by this definition, then it would be legal and fine and okay to bomb everyone in Israel. Everyone. Now, if you don't believe that that's okay, like I don't believe that's okay, then you understand that what he's saying right now is genocide and it's insane and it's wrong and it's morally bankrupt and it's unethical and it's, I've run out of adjectives. It is horrific. And yet, they act, oh, Hamas has embedded themselves in the civilian population. Oh, really? And yet everyone in Israel has served in the military. So let's not use that guy's definition. Let's not use the Israeli definition of who counts as an innocent civilian, because otherwise you could just bomb everyone anywhere all the time. Okay, I want to get to another video from this same interaction with this creep. Uh, again, the journalist is Saeed Arakat. My last question to you, uh, the UN, you know, a former official in the UN, Mohammed Haida, said that the uh, most clear-cut case of genocide, the Israeli bombardment and the killing of 20,000 people, that uh, is the most clear-cut case of genocide. Do you agree with him? So the State Department has a rigorous process for evaluating uh, when someone, what constitutes genocide, mm -hmm. ethnic cleansing, or a crime against humanity. Those are terms we only use with very explicit right. care. You've seen us be very deliberate. Sorry, let me. You've seen us be very deliberate about that in the past. We are monitoring the evolving situations and are examining facts as they develop. Uh oh, they're monitoring. Does that does that make you feel better? They're they're monitoring this genocide and they're really thinking hard about it. But of course, everything he's saying is utter garbage. It's a dumpster fire of uh, bullshit rhetoric because we've seen the United States call, accuse China of a genocide against the Uyghurs, even though at no point in those accusations, even in the accusations, these are U.S. Western accusations, at no point did they say China's killing Uyghurs. So there's even by the accusation, even if you want to word for word believe everything the U.S. has said about China, which is insane, why would you do that? But even if you did, uh, someone's telling me to turn up the volume, but I don't control your volume. You mean on the uh, on the clip? Oh, sorry, you're right. It was down. 
Thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Mimi. Um, but even if you want to believe everything that they say about the Uyghurs, they have not accused China of killing Uyghurs. So they're calling it genocide despite the fact there is zero killing. Then you have Gaza, where we know for a fact that thousands have been murdered by Israel. We know for a fact that they have bombed the hospitals and schools and killed UN workers and killed journalists and killed medics. And we know for a fact that they have killed thousands of children, that they are intentionally bombing innocent civilians. All of that is obvious and factual. And the U.S. will not call this genocide. So when he says we have careful criteria, no, you don't. Your criteria is, is it a country that we're trying to defend, uh, you know, via propaganda? And, and if so, then they don't commit genocide. Like the U.S. can't commit genocide. Israel can't commit genocide. Britain can't commit genocide. Anyone who's an ally of the U.S. Uh, can't commit genocide. Anyone who's an enemy of the U.S., they're all committing genocide. Uh, but on top of this, just to add in here, the U.S. also is part of this, right? We I covered yesterday how even the Wall Street Journal was saying that we the, the U.S. has shipped, the U.S. government has shipped 15,000, at least 15,000 bombs to Israel in order to murder these men, women, and children uh, in a mass scale. So this is, the the U.S. is doing this, as, as is Israel. Um, it's an extremely challenging space to get all the, the, the information that's, uh, uh, that, uh, that might be available, but it's a challenging space. It's such a, you know, whenever you see just uh, thousands upon thousands of innocent people being murdered, it's just a challenging space to decide if it's genocide. You know, it, it's really challenging. But we support Israel's right to continue to take action to ensure that Hamas can never conduct terrorist attacks like it did on October 7th. To take action, just take any action they want. Just run around murdering everyone. Doesn't matter. I'd take an action. Seventh, again, and as part of that, we urge Israel to take all possible measures to uh, minimize civilian harm. And I've just gone through a number of those measures. But they, I'm going to talk about this more, but they, they, telling, they keep telling Israel to take all possible measures, but we're going to ship you bombs so that you can keep doing this indiscriminate killing. Uh, we're going to keep sending you the, the dumbest bombs we have, the ones that just blow up whole neighborhoods. But yeah, take concern with the, the civilians. Please do that. It doesn't qualify for genocide. I, I, I just answered that. Go ahead, Tracy. Thank you. Um, going back to your <laughs> No, you didn't, but we didn't expect you to because you're a sociopathic lunatic uh, who's just trying to just trying to get ahead in the in the State Department.